Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my Walmart haul today. This was a two week spread that I am doing, kind of getting me going for videos, just for eating. We've been gone a week out of town to visit family. It was kind of an unexpected trip that we needed to take. So before we left, I kind of tried to dwindle down what we could in the last couple of days. And then I gave some of the stuff that was in my crisper drawers to my mom and she enjoyed it by making soups with it. So I kind of needed to replenish. And then I had a lot of dishes that I'm going to be making in the coming weeks for videos. So, all right. Y'all, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted because I do grocery hauls with Costco, Trader Joe's, and Walmart, and also I do a lot of cooking videos. Um, I have a, do you see my little, there's my beagle girl right there trying to steal food already. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get started now with the vegetables. So right here I have a bag of bakers. These are ranch hand bakers. There's about five pounds of these potatoes here. and They, they kind of look like little russets right there. All right. I've also picked up some cilantro. My husband likes to eat that a lot with Mexican food. And then I needed to pick up some parsley for some soup that I'm going to be making along with the carrots here. That's going to be part of my soup video coming up. Picked up some oranges because we just like to eat oranges. I've got a green bell pepper here for a salad that I'm going to make and lettuce for salad. And then I have some fresh spinach here that we're going to use for salad. But also I've got half of this marked for a soup that I'm going to be making. And we love these little things here. These little peppers right here are so fun to eat. You can stuff all kinds of things in or just eat them with some cream cheese or anything like that. And that's really good. Okay. I picked up some tomatoes for our salads and also just to slice and put on to sandwiches. Cucumbers. I needed to put cucumbers back into the refrigerator. Celery. This is for soup and some chicken salad that I'm going to be making. And then I have two things of green onions here for salads. And then also my husband just likes to eat them when he has sandwiches or something like that. All right. Now over here with the meat, I picked up a rotisserie chicken. Now we are going to Costco at the end of the week and I'll be picking up another one for that to make um, chicken salad. This one I have for a soup that I'm going to be making and I'm going to show you that. All right, picked up some black forest ham just to have for sandwiches. Oh, I picked up a roast. Okay, I'm going to be making Mississippi pot roast, so I picked up that. Now, I do have a video on Mississippi pot roast, so I'll link it down below. I have one in the crock pot, and also I have an instant pot version and a chicken Mississippi flavored um, dish also. So I'll link all three of those down below if you want to check them out. Now, I have Italian sausage here. Um, I'm going to be using this in a soup. This soup is going to be coming out real soon, y'all, so you'll, you'll be able to see it. I picked up some ground beef. I just wanted to make some um, meatballs with it and use the other half for something. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll figure it out. Now, I picked up some Jimmy Dean sausage here just because, you know, for breakfast we like tacos or at night we just like to make um, egg and sausage tacos. Picked up a huge pack. This is a mega pack, two pounds worth of um, honey roasted turkey breast. I've got an appetizer that I'm going to be showing you a video and then also the other pound for like sandwiches and stuff around the house. All right, I picked up some canned goods. Now I've got three cans of whole green beans here. One, two, and three. And then I picked up two cans of cream of mushroom soup. It's for a video that I have coming out for Thanksgiving, so you'll see that soon. And then I have some beef broth, two cans of that to make my meatballs with. And let's see, I got four boxes of chicken broth. These each box holds about four cups of chicken broth, so um, this will be really good for the soups that I'm going to be making this fall. All right, right here I have 
a packet, two packets actually, of crescent rolls that I'm going to be putting together into a sheet and making an appetizer out of that for you. And I picked up some tortillas here for our egg and sausage tacos that I'm going to be making. And more of the bread, just regular um, artisano bread that we like from Sara Lee for sandwiches, toast, and whatnot. I picked up these hoagie rolls right here, and there's a pack of six. Those are for the Mississippi pot roast because we like them on the hoagie rolls. All right, and then over here, I picked up a pack of the Rhodes rolls. These are the Texas style yeast rolls that you make. You let them rise, and then you can put them in your oven, and they turn into some nice looking rolls right there. <laughs> All right, so we picked up, we had to replenish some Pepsi. And I got some Coke there. Take you over to the other side of the table here. All right, so my husband likes the sugar in the raw. And it's about two pounds worth of that. He puts that in his coffee. Got some sweet potatoes here that I wanted to pick up. This is, oh, they're pretty big. So I'm gonna be making a dish, a uh, Thanksgiving side dish that I wanted to show y'all. So I'm gonna be making that coming up. Picked up some brown gravy, some ranch style uh, seasoning mixes here. That's for the uh, Mississippi pot roast. And then also I picked up the pepperoncinis because you got to have the whole pepperoncinis to go in there and some of the juice. Okay, then I picked up some Parmesan cheese. This is shredded cheese. This is for one of the soups I'm making. It might be for two of the soups. Now we have some pudding mix. Now this is the ready instant pudding, okay? So I got two packages of that and then I got some Philadelphia cream cheese that we're going to be using for a dessert that I'm going to be making. I've got some marshmallows and these are going to be used for the sweet potatoes and you'll see how I'm going to make those. Okay, I picked up some Hershey's Cocoa. And that's for a dish that I'm going to be making. Actually, it's going to be like cookies. So that's the only thing I needed to buy because I was running out and I didn't have enough of that to make the cookies. So I'm replenishing my pantry with the Hershey's co Cocoa there. All right, I picked up some sliced cheese, Gouda cheese slices for sandwiches and that. And then I picked up Colby slices of cheese, and that is for the appetizer that I'm going to be making with the turkey and the crescent rolls. <laughs> okay, now I picked up some French onions because um, I'm going to be making a dish for y'all for Thanksgiving, and I needed that. I picked up some Hershey's syrup that we needed for a dessert I'm making, along with some heavy whipping cream that'll be used for soups and desserts too. Thing of Cool Whip, guess what? For the dessert. <laughs> and then, of course, it's fall, so we always have to find something apple-y. This is Apple Crisp Blend, and it's 100% apple cider. So my husband picked that up. I picked up this orange juice because I needed it for one of the recipes that I'm going to be making as soon as I can find some cranberries. Y'all, if y'all know where I can find cranberries, let me know because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding them right now. Maybe it's just they'll come at the end of October. Okay, now my husband picked up this Southern Comfort eggnog. He's in the spirit of the seasons coming. So he was so excited when he saw this. So you saw the beginning where we have the picture of him holding his eggnog because he was super excited about that. All right, and then I picked up, because I just didn't want a lot of chips in the house, I picked up some of these individual bags of Lay's that we can eat with our Mississippi pot roast sandwiches that I'm going to be making this week. All right, so over here we have two packages of fettuccine. I'm going to be making a one-pot chicken fettuccine dish coming up, and you'll see that one. It's really exciting, y'all, because it's everything all in one pot. And then I have orzo here. This is a pasta that I'm going to be making in one of my soups. I like orzo because if you look, it looks about the size of rice, but it's pasta. So that's really cool for the soup. All right, I picked up some hot fudge. It's going to be for some cookies that I'm going to be making pretty soon. Oh yeah, everyone's waiting on those. <laughs> 
And then we have eggs here. I bought 12 eggs. They're cage free. I don't usually get my eggs from Walmart, but since we just got back from our trip, I needed to put some eggs in the house before we go to Costco or Trader Joe's, which is where I generally like to get my eggs. We'll get us through the next couple of weeks. I, like I said, I still have a small haul over at Costco that I need to do. Um, their ad broke and they had a lot of good discounts and I want to hit those before um, they go away. And then Trader Joe's. I have a few items that I need to be getting at Trader Joe's. So you'll, you'll be seeing both of those hauls coming up in the coming weeks. All right, y'all, let me know your favorites. If you go to Walmart, what you like and, you know, because I'm always up for new things. And give me a thumbs up. Y'all, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. All right, everyone. I will see you on my next episode.